Let me know if you've got questions for Grant. Tom, you want to get us going? Yeah, Grant, we just got through talking to Sam, and I don't know how many times he said physically whipped when he talked to us. Just your thoughts about coming in and what they did to y'all today. Yeah, um, I think that's exactly that. Um, that was a really good football team. Um, so you got to be able to say the facts right there. Um, we, we came in thinking we would have to play a perfect game to be able to win this game and just be us. Um, and we, uh, we didn't win in any of the phases of the three phases, uh, special teams, offense, or defense, uh, and it showed. Uh, so um, I think every single one of us, uh, we're sitting in the locker room, we know what we have to do to be able to get better. Uh, we have to be able to not um, let two – or not let this loss make it into two. We have to be able to bounce back and we have to be able to go back and start preparing for Ole Miss. Um, but we have to definitely learn from this game. And um, like you said, uh, they out physical us. Yeah, Grant, it's interesting that you go from playing this style of offense to what you're going to face next week at Ole Miss. Just how do you guys think you're going to bounce back and play against them? Um, we're going to bounce back because that's what we do. Um, that's that's what good football teams do, and we're a good football team. Um, just because of how this game went today, that doesn't define us. It defines our game against Georgia, um, but that doesn't define us who of a football team that we are. Um, we have to be able to bounce back and to be able to show that we deserve to be up there and be able to be talked about with one of the good teams in this league. Uh, so um, to be able to say the differences between offenses, everyone can kind of see the differences between offenses. They kind of run the same offense as our offense, a little quick, up-tempo. Um, but um, we, we have a lot of time to be able to learn about them and be able to focus on them. We have to learn, learn what we did wrong against Georgia and see what we can do to be able to better that, uh, ourselves against a team like this. Hey. hey. Yeah, uh, Grant, just the penalties. I mean, you had one, uh, one play where there were three – they got to take their pick of three penalties on the same play. Just anything you can put your finger on what, what happened with them today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I talked to the head guy a couple of times and he was saying we, there was one play that he thought he could have called one more. Um, but I don't, um, I don't get scholarship check to be able to say which refs or which penalties or what, but uh, that's definitely something we have to work on. If they're all true to, to what they say, uh, we have to work on penalties because that's, that's, that sets our offense back. That sets our defense back. We are on the field third and nine and we get a penalty. Uh, we're in our pass coverage or we're in our, uh, we get a offsides, we get a hold and we get another hole on another guy. Um, that hurts a football team, uh, no matter how good of players you got or how good of a scheme you got or how good of a offense you have running the ball good. Like it, it hurts a football team to be able to have penalties and we have to be able to cut those out um, on all uh, sides of the ball. Thank you. Let me know on questions for Grant, Bob. Hey, hey, Grant, um, you guys have been a pretty good run defense all year, even you know, playing good run teams like Texas and A&M. Uh, what do you think was the difference for Georgia today? Are they, they just that good? Or what do you think was going on with the run, run game today? Um, they found our pockets. Um, if you watch film or watch the game, um, they would like to line up the way we line our three down. They would line up and flip the back or flip the tight end um, and then try to hit the bubble in our defense and try to run to the open gap um, to make – um, either the nickel or the safety or make me or uh, the linebackers be able to play two gaps and be able to come off and make a play. Um, they did a really good job scheming us up. Um, but at the end of the day, like we're, we're a sound uh, gap sound team and we have to be able to make our gaps um, uh, and then make the play whenever it hits our gaps. Um, every single one of us can say that we didn't play our best game today. Um, they came off the ball. They had a start, they started fast. Uh, we, that was our goal was to start fast and we didn't do that. Um, as soon as we saw that 13 was in, um, we knew that we were going to get quarterback run. So it wasn't a surprise uh, to not see JT Daniels out there. We just knew that we were going to have a different game plan. Um, and we knew we had to stop the run in the first play. They got 10 yards on a dang run. So uh, we have to be able to adjust, be able to find a way to win no matter what. Um, so that's that's kind of what happened in the run game today. You know, Bennett, he, he came off the bench last year against you guys and played well, and he's played well as a starter. But you guys really didn't make it to where they had to pass today because they ran so effectively. First of all, what did you think of Bennett, and how tough was it that you couldn't, you know, make it to where they had to pass? Um, Bennett, he's a, he's a hell of a football player. Um, he's been that way. He was that way last year when he played every game for him until the end of the year. Um, he, he can make plays extended um, with his legs. Um, but he's, it's not like he's like head and shoulders worse than JT Daniels. They're both really good quarterbacks. Um, 
And the, the thing about the run game is as a defense, it doesn't matter. We got the ball on our side of the, the field. It felt like almost other every other time, but it doesn't matter. We have to be able to stop the run first, and that's just something we didn't do. Um, I'll have to watch film and tell you exactly. I don't know exactly. I kind of thought they were flipping the running backs and tight ends. But as a defense, you have to be able to get off the field or you can't help your team. Thanks. All right, let me know if you've got questions. Touch. Yeah, Grant, y'all hadn't allowed a point in the first quarter through the first four games, and, and they came out punchy in the mouth with a couple of touchdowns. Did that, did that surprise you at all? And what were the conversations like on the sideline, you know, trying to, to fix that? Yeah, um, it did surprise me. As a, as a player, um, watching our defense and being on the field, um, it surprised me that they came out and scored um, and how easily they did, really. Um, but after the first two touchdowns we let up, we, we really we did a good job of stopping the run for the most part and being able to get off the field. Uh, they had a field goal. They had a blocked kick. Um, as a defense, we, we made the adjustments they were making the, they were going C gap runs pretty much. They'd start in the A gap and then bounce to the C gap and make our DBs come up and tackle. And it's hard for a defensive back to be able to play the pass and at from 10 yards and be able to come down and tackle. So, um, that's what they were doing. And we had to have a good scheme. We had to change up the scheme after the two play or the two drives where they scored on us. Um, we did a good job adjusting. And then second half, um, they just ran at will, um, their, their O line, as soon as the running back, we would stand them up. Throw a line would come in and push. Um, they would give extra three, four, five yards every single play. Um, we got to do a better job tackling. Uh, it starts with me. It uh, starts with everyone. Uh, we got to do a better job at um, just running and hitting. That's our that's our motive, right? Uh, running and hitting. So we got to just do a better job at that. Um, yeah, Grant, uh, Coach Pittman recruited most of his offensive linemen uh, for Georgia. You feel like he did. He recruited recruited too well for him or just how good is that offensive line do you think um that was the best offensive line we've seen all year um that's the best team we've seen all year I bet you the offense will say that's the best defensive front uh everyone that they've seen all year that's a really good football team um so um yeah coach Pittman he did a good job for them and he's doing a good job for us too and I think you know most people before I know you guys want to win them all but I think most people for the season would have taken for a four and one start against that schedule um how much confidence, or do you, does your confidence take a hit? I don't mean yours, but I mean the teams. Or how, how do you guys kind of handle that when when I know you expected to play better today? Yeah, um, this year we expected to win this game. Uh, we came into this game to win this game. We didn't come in the game to keep it a close game or whatever the spread was to play it and make sure that people won money. We came in here to be able to focus on us and be able to win the game. Uh, we don't play the games to just go and treat, keep it close and be happy about four and one. We are happy. We're real. We're realistic. Um, we know like this is we're light years ahead of what we could be or what we should be right now as an Arkansas team, but we don't care about that. We want to be able to be in every single game. Um, our goals are still there at the end of the year of what we want to do. Um, we'd love to play Georgia again, and that's our goal, but um, we got to be able to focus one game at a time. Um, and we're happy about four and one, but we're not happy about losing today at all. Thanks. Thanks, Grant. Yeah. Thank you all.